Hey guys, welcome to the Margaret Fontana Media Weekly Check-In. I am going to make an effort in 2021 to do a little bit more of video check-ins with everyone and talk a little bit more about the different updates and things we're seeing across media, digital media, film, production, podcasting. There's so much going on inside of media that you know, I think sometimes we can get updates through a lot of the different platforms. So if you're on Twitter, you're seeing a lot of different things happening there. Maybe that might be your source of news. Um, you're looking on Instagram and sometimes some of the experts on Instagram have different things posted. And um, that might be the only way you're actually receiving digital technology news. And then there are new apps new types of technology for marketing and digital marketing that have come up. And um, one of them I wanted to touch on today, this is not the podcast, we're just doing a weekly touch base. And this I wanted to get a little bit more feedback from everybody just to kind of see where everybody is with this. Um, you know, if this might be helpful for you to kind of get a little bit more of an education on what's happening in the media, digital media, marketing world, brand production, all of those things live really under this umbrella. And um, I think more than ever, we're seeing it and we're seeing how much media and online and digital is really, it's so important. It's really what's kept us going throughout the pandemic. And I think, if you listen to a couple of my podcasts, you know, I talk about digital transformation and how this is really elevated and just kind of pushed us forward. And I think a lot of times, um, historically, we go through these moments where digital and um, technology have to meet and more so technology. You know, I think I almost want to say digital is newer than saying technology because um, we use different platforms and all you know, with our phone. This is like the lifeline is your phone. And you can do so much from your phone. You can update your bills. You can get your health information. You can talk to people across the world. You can do, I think, a lot of things on your phone that we weren't able to do um, two years ago, three years ago. And that's normal because that's that's what, you know, tech is supposed to do. Where It's supposed to meet the needs of what humans are actually looking to do, which is connect. You know, I think with all the digital technology, in the end, humans want to connect. Humans want to be, um, actually, it's like being on the phone. So speaking of that, there is a new platform out, and I'm just going to touch on this because I'm, I'm going to talk uh, through this on another podcast episode, and this is called Clubhouse. And I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with it, but it's an audio based app, meaning it's pretty much like old school party lines. I don't know, depends on your age, depends if you know what those are. Um, it's like calling into one phone number and there's like 50 people in the room talking, but it's a little bit more organized. The uh, types of rooms and type, I say rooms, these are different like category area rooms where people are um, able to join. It's invite only right now but I'm sure it'll open up uh, just because it's getting so much uh, attention and traction. And I think it has a lot of tweaks and, and things that have to get improved on the actual app. So basically what it is, you are uh, getting an invite into the app and then it's clocking you in through your phone and then it kind of taps into your contacts and it invites other people that you say you want invited into your um or you're, it's basically you extending a courtesy invitation. But if you don't want your contacts integrated or you don't want your contacts revealed or, you know, you give up your contacts, basically. I mean, a lot of these apps are just like, you know, we still don't know the security part of that, but that's a different discussion. Um, so just kind of to give you the overview of Clubhouse, it's really fascinating. You can jump into any of these different topic rooms, really connect with high level people. I mean, when I say high level people, you're getting celebrities in these rooms and it's like raw, it's real. They're moderators, they're guests, they're listeners. Um, there's a true opportunity if you're an expert to actually jump in as a moderator. You know, you might have someone else in the room who sees your expertise through your profile and says, hey, jump up into um, a moderator spot and, and join the conversation. And I think what has happened with it is, is 
it's really great from an educational standpoint in a sense. Um, but I think you have to know how to really uh, navigate the conversations and, and know when something is like fluff or when it's actually good information. So there's so much inside of that, but it's audio. It's all audio. So if I jump in a room that's like, you know, top 10 ways to uh, magnify your personal brand in 2021, that's interesting. I'll go listen. And then I look and I see who's in the room and maybe, you know, the top like media people are in there. And, you know, I think that's just like your own education. You kind of have to know who people are in your industry to be excited by that. So, um, it's very cool. And again, it's called clubhouse and I'm sure a lot of people may or may not be talking about it. The competitor to that, and I'm sure Facebook, Instagram, everybody's going to jump on this. But more recently, I was notified of something called Twitter Spaces on my Twitter account. And that's something that's totally interesting, very cool. Um, it basically acts the same as a Clubhouse app, but it has some different nuances in it. Um, and again, a lot of these apps for audio based are very basic. You know, a lot of it is not super uh, refined or sophisticated. So I think there's so much space for that. Um, I would love to see Facebook do this, Instagram do this, you know, um, more audio based because, you know, right now it's like you can, you can video message anybody, you know, like the capability is all there. But I think a lot of people are camera shy. I think a lot of people find Clubhouse interesting because it's audio. So like you can look like, you know, you're doing your chores, keep your phone near you and listen to the whole thing, listen to conversations and kind of have access to these conversations without getting, you know, like fixing your hair, doing your makeup, making sure you look presentable. And I think that's also one of the um, attractive parts of it. So there's that Twitter spaces. Um, the other things that I've been updating on my personal Instagram, if you're following me, I've been talking a lot about strategy for 2021 and really looking at why personal branding has become, uh, or I should say like elevated over who you work for. So if you work for a company or if you work, um, you know, for some type of like government entity or, or you're a teacher or something like that, um, we're starting to see people through the pandemic really develop their own personal brands. And I think this has become more important because, um, you know, your personal opinion is important, you know, but not acknowledging who you are, what your skill set is. Um, we've had to possibly be our own recruiters over the last year as this pandemic has unfolded. So maybe you have a job, maybe you're an entrepreneur, maybe you don't have a job. So a lot of the industries that have changed and using digital have been education big time. The second one has been recruitment. So recruitment for large companies and everything is as you're seeing this I'm recording on Zoom. So a lot of conversations I have with brands um, potential anybody who tries to contact me is always through Zoom. I am, uh, you know, I've used Microsoft Teams, but I will say that Zoom is actually, and Google Meet has actually been a little bit more accommodating and um, a little bit more, there's just like more use. You can get more, more out of it. So, um, so a lot of what we're seeing is, you know, these industries are starting to evolve and really use the digital tools to kind of push them forward. So a lot of what I've been talking about, you know, across all of my platforms. So if you follow me on LinkedIn, connect with me on LinkedIn, by the way. So if you're a brand or business um, and you like what I'm talking about today, um, I will do more of these because I, I actually love just talking more about the business, the industry, and I love to educate. And, um, you know, this is, this is kind of like me having a conversation with you. I am having new guests on for the podcast coming up starting February 1st, new guests, film producers, film producers, TV producers, uh, lifestyle experts, interior design experts, high level, beautiful, um, different type of experts, media, arts, not-for-profit, health, wellness. So this is over the course of the next couple of months. I am going to continue with the Zoom podcast because I feel that a lot of people 
uh, have um, really connected with that. And I, I really got a lot of feedback over the summer when I did that initially for the experts that I brought on, which were digital lifestyle, fashion, arts. I mean, I had all of all of these amazing women it was, and it happened to be all women, which was really great. But this time around, I'm opening it up and it's male, female, he, she. Please, if you're interested and you have any type of topic or, um, you know, you're maybe promoting something, I am very open to having you on the podcast. And um, see, this is part of being online. It's like constantly looking, making sure you're, you're prim and ready to go. And um, so if you're interested in being on the podcast and this, it is a video podcast. And then I take part of the lesson in this, which is also something side note, I teach with a lot of the students um, with uh, Professor Kathy Magrino from Ryder is how to podcast. And so, wow, how many wonderful tools do we have now to do this? I was talking to um, someone recently just about audio and how when we were in college, my major was radio and TV production. And it was really about learning how to splice the audio tape. You know, remember the tape cassette that had the actual tape? Splicing that to edit your um, audio. So we've come a long way. But so if you're interested, send me an email. And um, so this was my my moment to connect with everyone today. And if you guys want to talk a little bit more, you have feedback, um, you want to give me topics that I can um, chat with you about during the week, I would love to do these updates. And again, it's really the newest, greatest, latest thing is Clubhouse app. So if you know someone who perhaps has an invite and doesn't mind giving up their contacts because that's the only thing about it that, you know, I would say from my perspective, you kind of have to like know whether or not you're okay with that. Uh, that's for the person inviting because you open up your contacts on your phone. That's what that means. It's more about security and things like that. So that's my personal um, thought on it, but so many new things. If you want to know any other ideas, any other thoughts, any other things we're seeing coming down from digital media and tech, send me a message. Film, PR, production. I mean, like I said, um, there's a lot going on in the world as far as media goes. So, and it's all exciting. It's really cool stuff. So let me know. Uh, keep me posted. I'm going to post this on YouTube and then I'll post it across all of the different um, platforms. But again, here's my promo for the upcoming starting February 1st. I will be putting out new podcast episodes with all new guests from across film, media, the arts, culinary, you name it, lifestyle. That's going to start in February. And we're going to program and promote it into uh, the spring. So there was also my other topic, which was program your content like a TV show. So this is my TV show. This is the Margaret Fontana Media Show. We have a podcast show, but because we're in video, this is also now content for YouTube and across all the other platforms that um, we are all consuming right now. So thanks guys. I'll talk to you soon and let me know if there's anything else that we should be talking about. I hope you enjoyed this quick briefing.